I was very insecure, actually. But when I'm in nature, I felt at home. I felt quite happy. Roger Tory Peterson, he wrote The Birds of Europe, and he came out in Swedish when I was 12 years old. I got some lobsters from my trap, and I sold the lobsters, and I got to buy the book. I went out and lay in the woods and lay down and listened to the birds and watched the birds and the closeness, the healing. You know, I didn't think of it like that as a young man, but I realized that's what it was. I went to art school in Stockholm. And at the time, it was in the 60s. You were not allowed to do realism at all. It had to be totally abstract, minimalist. And of course, I sculpted nature. I grew up in a fishing village and I spent time in the North Sea in the summers sorting fish and looking at birds and I sculpted a bear, I remember. My teacher said, what the hell is this? You're supposed to do your own thing. It is my own thing, sir. He said, you never make a living sculpting animals. It's not the language of our time. And I was a poor kid from a fishing village, so I believed him. In 74, I flew to the US for the first time in my life. The Western art movement was underway. They took me up in the mountains to cowboy bars with sawdust on the floor. <laughs> and then they took me to look at mountain with the bison herd. Mm -hmm. Whew. I really got excited. I've always sculpted on the side. You know, I did portrait commissions. I sculpted Botswana's president. I did all sorts of sculpting all the time. I used to say I sculpted even if it was illegal, but I couldn't make a living in Europe. when we came to Corpus Christi the first time. It was sheer chance. And as we drive over the Harbor Bridge, and here's the smiling bay, mm -hmm. my heart just went boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. We drove around and we drove out to the island here. And it wasn't that much built up then. It's mm -hmm. 44, going 45 years ago now. But here was a house for sale with a dock and a canal, could have a boat. We signed on the dotted line. It's the best thing we ever did. It's a perfect place to raise yeah. two boys. Fashion's always changed in the art world. The biggest thing that happened to me, I was at the National Sculpture Society in New York City. And a very famous architect, Philip Johnson, he had in fact designed the Corpus Christi Art Museum. And he was given an award by the National Sculpture Society. And in his speech, he said, while the wheel of art comes full circle, and this wheel has turned full circle, and was once archaic, is now the avant-garde. I came to America and I got to live my dream. I'm the most loving American you ever find.